You now to a story that comes to us from our partners at DNA Info. New York City's Department of Education issuing a new code of conduct to protect students online. That's because with more and more people establishing Facebook and social media pages, in fact, this is my Facebook page right here, plug, plug, some universities and new employers are closely scrutinizing those pages. And as Eyewitness News anchor Sandra Bookman explains, the DOE wants to make sure that a photo from a student's past won't hamper prospects for his or her future. For most teenagers these days, socializing isn't just done in the hallway between classes. In fact, it's mostly online. But what you're tweeting, Facebooking, or posting on YouTube could ultimately influence what a college admissions officer or prospective employer thinks about you. That's one reason the New York City Department of Education has put together a social media guide to help students shape their digital footprint. It became clear as we talked to students that they wanted this too, and they wanted guidance. They didn't want us to say, you know, no, you can't do that. They wanted us to show them how. The online handbook takes students through the ins and outs of creating the digital image you want to share with the world. Among the guidelines covered, posting responsibly. Would you want your mom to see that? Using privacy settings, each platform offers ways to limit access and cyber bullying. At Hudson High School of Learning Technologies, the guide already has some fans. These students are both tech-savvy seniors heading to college. They can tell a lot about what you are based on that profile. So it's like, you want to have a good profile, good image. It's kind of like your legacy. Like you take that around with you wherever you go, always, all the time. Teachers got their own social media guide back in 2012. So most see this as the next logical step. To act like social media doesn't have a place in our classroom is ridiculous. Our kids are using it, so why not help them use it in a positive way? These guidelines are aimed at students 13 and older, but the DOE fully expects to be issuing guidelines for younger students and their parents in the near future. In Chelsea, Sandra Bookman, Channel 7, 